What is going on today guys, Tomcat here, and today we are back in Spin Tires, taking a look at an unreleased mod. Now, this is a Dodge Ram 3500 Mega Cab uh, Cummins Dually, and this is actually a mod that Brute Terror is working on, and you guys have seen a bunch of Brute's mods previously, um, we all know him throughout the Spin Tires community, he makes some pretty crazy mods. Um, his mods are, are actually some of the highest quality mods right up there with Spun in Darkness, they really uh, do a good job. Now... This thing is, well, it's, 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 it's awesome. It's really nice. Um, I've driven it around for a few minutes, and I'm really already in love with this thing. I really, really, really like this truck. Um, now, the standard wheels and tires that come on it are the, well, basically, they're defaults. Uh, they're the default setting, but they, um, according to, according to the, uh, the lettering on the tire, they're general grabbers. You know, decent tires, but we're going to go ahead and I'll just show you the other combinations. They're all 40s, but they're just different wheel and tire combinations. So the first one, the Force Baja 40, they look okay. I like them a lot. I like the wheels, but I like the tread pattern on the default ones a little bit better. Um, the Force uh, Mill 40, those are pretty much, I, I want to say they're military tires. They And they, I mean, they've got a ton of tread on them. And then the e Eagle IROC 40s. Those are a little bit, a little bit smaller, but it, they're still, you know, they, you still don't, don't just want to mess with them. Definitely don't, you know, just throw them to the side, because they're pretty badass t wheels and tires as well. We're going to go ahead and stick with the defaults, though, because, honestly, I like the tread pattern, and I like the fact that they have red lettering on them. Just, <laughs> just my personal opinion. But, um, as far as modifications that you can do to the truck, you can do a little bit. Um, I've got the dual stacks on it right now. If you take the dual stacks off, you have uh, you have access to a uh, cargo rack in the back. You have a single stack, which I personally feel like if you're going to do a single stack, it should be more over here. It should be just closer to the center of the bed. It's still a little bit offset, but I don't. I'm not sure. I just I just don't uh, don't like single stacks as much if they're just way off to the side. Um, if it's way off to the side, then there should be two of them. But the other thing, the other options that you have, if you put the rack in, then you can put a fuel tank in. And the fuel tank gives you 2,000 repair points, and I believe a couple other bonuses as well. So, and it just looks awesome to have, you know, to have a fuel tank in the back of your truck. So, but we're going to go ahead and actually take that out, because, like I said, I want to run this thing with the dual stacks, and I want to show you guys this truck with the dual stacks, because I think it looks awesome. And I think it's just kind of like the best way to present this truck. Now, do you want to get the diff lock and the all-wheel drive on? And that's the other thing. I kind of need to have the diff lock and the all-wheel drive on almost all the time in this video because not only did Brute send me this truck, but he also sent me a file which basically what it does is modify the the code and the parameters of, uh, of the terrain, specifically the mud, making it a whole lot more difficult uh, for the truck to actually navigate its way through. As you saw back there, it gets stuck a whole lot easier now. It's basically a realistic mud uh, code mod is what it basically is. You can see it's already starting to have trouble. It would not be having that kind of trouble on the standard mud. And you know what? I may <laughs> may have gone a little bit too far. Let's see if we can back up. Let's see if it'll let us back up. Yeah, we're already stuck. Thanks, Brute. <laughs> if you're watching this, hey, yeah, Brute, if you're watching this right now, thanks for the, uh, for the, uh, for that extra, you know, bit of code. <laughs> it's only ruined my experience. No, I'm kidding. It's, but the only thing is it has slightly gotten me stuck. So we're going to go back to the, um, actually, no, we're not going to go back to the garage. Uh, resume game. What are you talking about? We're not going to go back to the garage. First off, we're going to see if there's anything we can winch to, which there isn't. So we are going back to the garage, apparently. So I guess we're not going to go that way. I guess we're not going to go that way this time. Oh, come on. Come on, come on. Sometimes, I mean, and that's not... I feel like sometimes the automatic gearboxes and spin tires just sometimes take a little bit longer than they should to respond. And that's not, you know, that's not to say it's, you know, Brute's fault or, or whoever's fault that made the mod. That's just how these gearboxes work sometimes. They're not, they're not the most intelligent at times, but at the same time... They, they feel like, you know, they, they feel like a very old-style automatic gearbox, which means that when they kick into the next gear, they can actually give you a huge boost through um, uh, any, kind of, uh, any kind of rough terrain that you might be having to deal with, which can be helpful when you're trying to get a little bit of a speed boost, say, through, uh, through mud or something like that. And the funny thing is, you never know when you're going to have an incident like I had back at the, um, 
back at the kind of like the swamp area because you never know what um, what area of this uh, what areas of the mud are going to be the uh, like I guess extra extra modded uh, version. So it it makes it a, a lot more tense when you're kind of navigating your way through the environment in the game because you're like, uh, when's it gonna happen next? When's it gonna happen next? When's my truck gonna get like sucked into the ground? But either way, this thing just looks so badass. It's such a beastly truck. It really is. And I mean, I love trucks like this in spin tires. I love trucks like this in general. But I feel like seeing seeing this one in spin tires, I hope it. I hope it kind of prompts more people to do this style of truck and spin tires. And yes, I like the Russian trucks a lot. Yes, I like the trial trucks a lot. But trucks like this, I mean, uh, Cummins trucks, Duramax trucks, Power Strokes, you know, especially leveled or lifted versions thereof are really, really awesome to see in spin tires. I really enjoy seeing them. Um, that, and, that and military trucks. Military trucks are sweet too. But, I mean, when you have trucks like this and spin tires... You really can't help but just, you know, just, just just play the game. Just drive around. And that's the thing. When the mod is good enough, when the mod is good enough, you, you, I mean, you don't really think about anything else in the game. You just think about driving it around because it's a lot of fun. It is, it's just so much fun to just drive these trucks around. And this thing is actually pretty quick when you get up to speed. It's in fifth gear, and it's, it's powering along. It really is. The nice thing is, too, it's not phased by, by rocks at all. I mean, this section, it'll just, you know, it'll just monster it. If you want, you can put it in low and get it to... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I should not have taken my momentum away. That was the absolute worst thing to do. Now that modded mud code is going to come back at me and attack me. Jeez. And I'm stuck again. Although... Yes. Yes, we have a winch point. Like, unlike last time, we can actually winch ourselves out. Oh, come on. Oh, my God. Jeez, this mud. I mean, it's really realistic, and I, I, I like it for that. But at the same time, I, at the same time, I'm like, jeez, I hate this mud. It's making it so much more difficult. But then again, like I said, at the same time, it is more realistic. It's a lot more realistic. Let's see if this works. We'll winch from the back of the truck. And see if we can... Yes! Yes! There we go. We'll still probably need to do more. Oh, maybe not! It's getting some traction. There we go! It's getting some traction. Not bad at all! That's full power right now. Come on! There you go! There you go! It made it out! Not too bad. And like I said, while this thing is a massive behemoth of a truck, it's still, it's not too bad at all off-road. It, unless it sinks like that. <laughs> unless it sinks. If it sinks, then you're stuck and you need to use the winch immediately because you'll be there for hours otherwise. But again, it does add a nice realism factor to it. In fact, let's go ahead and see about climbing that mountain over there with this thing. Or we could go straight, or we could go that. Let, let's go over here. I feel like, I don't know how this thing's going to do climbing up the mountain. It should be fine as long as it doesn't get uh, stuck in any kind of mud or start to sink. If it, no! Dang it. Okay, yeah, that's, we may have binned it. <laughs> we may have been the truck. Not gonna, okay, not gonna work. Not gonna work. Although, there's a different way you can get to the, you can get to the, um, the mountain from here, so. We can still, we can still get back there. It's not like it's like, that's the thing, it's not like it's some massive problem that's like, oh no, we're never gonna get back. Alright, come on then. And also, too, this thing rolls freaking coal like a, like an absolute monster. It's like, it smokes like a train. And again, that's all in the, uh, that's all in the code, um, that's all in, in, uh, in Brute's, uh, XML for the truck. Because again, all of these different parameters are, um, are able to be modified, 
and I think one of the biggest things, one of the biggest things that always bugs me is if the smoke isn't lined up with the exhausts, and I know that that sometimes happens, that does sometimes happen. I remember back when I, um, when I messed with modifying the code of certain vehicles and spin tires a little bit, that was like one of my, I wouldn't say it was one of my biggest issues, but it was always like, it was always a thing where I would get the thing ready and I would be like, yes, it's ready, and then I'd put it in the game and like the exhaust would be there and the smoke would be like over here behind the cab or something and it was always slightly you know it was slightly embarrassing but it's something that you just go back and fix and I mean that's just how modding works modding is constant uh, constant trial and error it really is just constant 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 trial and error you you make a small change you test it out it works you know if it works great if it doesn't work then, you know, you go back and you fix it. If it works, great. If it doesn't work, you go back and you try and fix it again. That's just how modding works, as how modding a game works. Really how modding anything works, almost. But the first person view is really just kind of like a roof cam, so we're not going to spend much time in it. It's, I mean, it's okay if you like to use roof cam, but me personally, I'm a much, much, much bigger fan of the third person view in spin tires. It's a lot easier to work with. It really is a lot easier to work with, especially if you're trying to maintain any sort of line or you're trying to follow um, certain ruts in the road, then yeah, you don't, I mean, you, you can use that, uh, you can use the roof cam. It's not like, you know, it's not like, oh, you can't use the roof cam. No, you can use the roof cam, but, you know, just be prepared for um, a couple of, well, I wouldn't say headaches, but just be prepared to work a little bit harder than you may have before. Uh, in the third person view across the river where it's simple and not like a massive river crossing gonna try not to get caught up with these fallen trees they'll get you stuck immediately the rocks are really no problem it's the fallen trees that'll get you mountains right there just really trying to focus and pick a good line now because as long as I pick a good line We'll be, you know, we'll be just fine. We'll be good to go as long as I pick a decent line and don't drive through any soft-ish, muddy terrain. We're gonna need low for this. We really are. I mean, since the since the automatic gearbox sometimes can't make up its mind, we're just gonna need low for this, just so we never drop power. Because that's the thing. If you drop power, then you lose all of your momentum and you have to gain it all back. However... If you put it in, in something like low or even high, then you're just you're, you're pretty much perfectly set because you have your momentum and you're able to keep that no matter what. And that honestly really allowed us to get up the volcano, so I can deal with that for sure. And you know what? Oh yeah, there you go. That's an epic shot. Actually, no. I know a much better place to get a shot of the truck. No, it's sunk! No! And there's nothing to winch to. Oh my god, that sucks. That's horrible. Hold on. Let's we'll stick it back in auto, see if we can back out. Nope. Go forward. Nope. No. <laughs> nope. Well, we sunk the truck, but that's okay. That's okay, because we made it up to the top of the volcano, and then it sunk. But, if you guys enjoyed this test, then don't forget to leave me a like. Tell me in the comment section down below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. And I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you guys later.